We're gonna drop that flank and give up. Yeah, they, they took heavy losses there, so that's fine. I might just have to abandon uh, Breslatovsk. Because these troops are gonna get stuck in the swamp. Is it worth it to defend Breslatovsk? I think it is. We're doing okay so far. Right, it's still ground attacking them. I don't know what they're doing, but they're pretty light here. And we can see a lot of stuff, apparently. <laughs> That does look like a front for a counterattack. Is it? No, it is not. Well, if I ever saw a front for a counterattack, that is one of them. There we go. Pause. Need to find bombers. Bomb that division. Yes. Oh, yeah. And they're beat up to fighter ground crew training. No. Technology, fighter ground crew training. Okay, good, good. And uh, we should probably get some of that going on. Since we're doing so much air combat, my air research stuff is going to start a lot faster. We've won that battle. Okay, good. And we won the battle of Suites, wherever that is. Or however you would say it. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so won that battle. They've run away like cowards. And now Lvov is being attacked. So we should have bombers around to assist. That we do. Alright. Bomb them. We can also counterattack to assist where necessary. Those guys are too hurt. Those guys are too hurt. These guys probably don't have the ability to strike. Okay, so we'll just leave it there now. Let's look at what we got going on here. So, this is a distractionary attack. Uh, we have countered the defender's tactics, so good job, Susiakov. Susiakov did a really good job uh, outfoxing a better general. And, uh, well, with Lebom unoccupied, he could get some help from Aramenko. They'll be in reserve, and they're being bombed. The main thing is we want to make... Lvov is one of our hedgehogs, and we want them to pay a very high price for taking Lvov. Which is what they're trying to do. So they're about to have a division go down. I think this is the one where we just could not assist. Oh yeah, look at that mountain division getting hard countered. The armor is going to start showing up soon. It looks like it's coming out of Greece. There we go. So we devastated him there. Back off. Call off the attacks. Okay, and then maybe... Where are our dudes at here? There we go. We're going to call in an interdiction strike. Interdiction just shoots at moving targets. And uh, they're more vulnerable when they're moving. So that'll work out great. They're on the other side of a river. I don't like that. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna yoink this division. It was a big battle, but uh, it was okay, I guess. Susiakov's gonna have to end his counterattack shortly, and we're gonna have to pull out of Lvov. Yeah, they're hitting us really hard. Let's end the counterattack. 
And uh, we're gonna just have to vacate Lvov because it's we're losing too much. Those heavy tanks can't take that kind of a beating. I don't know why they did. Maybe I'm an idiot. Alright, so we're getting hit here. I need my cast bombers. Yes, ground attack these tanks. And Yakovlev is a tank buster, so he should do pretty good job there. And we won the Battle of Marich. I need to figure out where exactly that is. Because I need to find out if my troops are going to be randomly moving into some location. I don't think so. We'll hope. Alright, these guys are getting banged up bad. Alright, let's see, how's this situation going? The Brits have landed troops, but... I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to take Persia. Nope. Alright, so let's just attach him to the third army there. Okay. Again, they're not getting the pick of the generals here. They're getting one rank one generals only. Cause, uh, are we bombing this place? We are. Why are we getting beat up so bad? Hello, Yakovlev? Where's our air support? They are indeed well protected. Alright, so let's scatter here. Behind the river! Yeah, we got hurt really bad. Oh, hey! <laughs> Get destroyed, Germany! Boom! You found my doom stack of interceptors. <laughs> Bet you wish you hadn't have done that. Alright, so, July the 1st, we're going to let the first day go through here, and then we're going to stop and look at how we're doing. And we won this battle. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. And it's midnight on July. Alright, so let's go have a look at how the war is being perpetrated. This will probably be sufficient for the first video, because you know now that there's a war, and it says, Oh no, <laughs> Romania declared war on me without telling me. That's not very nice. I thought we were friends. I thought we had something, Romania. I took your land, and, you know, well. Okay, so submarines. You, we're gonna have to do this really quick before I do the chat, cause, oh yeah, okay, so, can you, you can go out into the straits, alright, do yourself some convoy raiding deep into enemy territory. Now, the Black Sea Fleet in real life didn't do a whole lot of submarining, because the Black Sea is actually pretty shallow. And, uh, as a result, it's kind of difficult to <laughs> use submarines there, because you can't, you, your number one defense is to dive, 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 and, uh, you can't. There's not that much space to dive, dive, dive in. Alright, so here we go. Germany, Italy, Hungary, Romania, Slovakia, Bulgaria. Okay. Naval. Convoys. We've lost no convoys. And, uh, they have lost no navy to speak of. And we lost no cargo. They, however, have lost quite a lot of cargo so far. We have sank 825,000 tons of German cargo uh, just in the first month. So our submarines have been pretty effective. It's co it says that it cost them about a thousand IC overall. The air battle. 
The damage done to our lands has cost us about 135 IC this month. Oh, I need... Yeah, well, not this month. Over the last year. There we go. So that works. Air. Damage done to our lands has cost us about 135, and their bombers suffered about 24 uh, IC worth of damage. Our bombers suffered about 73 IC worth of damage, so we've we've been getting the worst end of the air-to-air -air war. But the damage done to them has been about 8,600. So we've lot we've taken more damage, but we've done way more damage <laughs> to them than us. So far, in losses to IC and manpower. They've lost more IC than us, and they've lost slightly more manpower. So, that's good. We, we're trading territory to make them burn resources, basically. And uh, we'll see now that Romania's entered the war how things are going to go. I'm just ho I'm hoping that Japan stays neutral. That's the big important thing. Please stay neutral. Japan. Don't attack me. You don't want to attack me. I'm I'm friendly, Soviet. I've never uh I've tried to bother you in any way, shape, or form. Let's see what's going nothing. Nothing nothing in Africa of no other than the potentiality for them to take for the Italians to take the Suez. They also get half a Crete. They gave the other half to the Germans. And Republican Spain is still alive. Britain's still alive. So, maybe another cool thing we can do. Let's go... Buildings, resources... I need military, by the way. Army leaders, skill. So Zukov and Konev are still our best. Experience. We got a couple dudes about to level up, so that's what we want. And, uh, let's look. Naval leaders. Skill. Got a Oktyabrisky. I don't know where he got his experience from, but it's there. Uh, Drozd, who was the White Sea Fleet Captain, who I've got in charge of the submarine now. Or, Admiral. Is, uh, is out there and about. So, we got some submarines doing work. Air leaders. Barzane doing a good job with the the shads, but I don't think anybody has gained a ton of level yet. Maybe, no. We still have we have guys that are pretty good. Uh, Zagarev is about to get a level. Oh wow! And Smushkovich, who was actually dead in real life, uh, killed in the purges. So looks like we're doing okay. I think that's, yeah, that's redundant. So, there we go. So, so far, the war is not going too badly. Even Shapashtakov has some, uh, is getting some experience. The Rokosovsky hasn't done anything yet. Alright, so, we're doing what we can. Our frontline divisions should be gaining experience as well. Just as they fight. So... Hopefully things will turn out. We'll see when, uh, as I'll call up the battle plans again. So we're getting close to the second line of defense here. And uh, that means that counter major counteroffensives might be on the table. Maybe. Possibly. I also had significantly fewer submarines, but it doesn't really matter. We've sank enough... Uh, sank enough to get it done so uh, we'll go through July or however much we get through uh, in the next video and we'll see how uh, how the plan goes I also imagine we might see an invasion of Persia if uh, Cairo or uh, Alexandria fall if either of those really go down, then we're... we will intervene in Persia, because in all likelihood, after the the Italians or the Axis take the Suez, they will take Iraq. And then it's a matter of time before Persia switches sides. 
so I've got to make sure that that flank is secured. <laughs> 